Australia's Coral Sea is one of the world's most spectacular, diverse and remote tropical marine regions. It lies beyond the boundaries of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park and covers a vast area of almost 800,000 square kilometres. Yet, despite its stunning natural values and growing economic importance, the Coral Sea is virtually unprotected. Osprey Reef is iconic in that it is an isolated seamount, meaning the top of a volcano that comes, you know, from 2,000 meters, uh, with vertical walls, with gargonians, sea fans, soft corals, just amazing colors. Look in any of the dive magazines or National Geographic, and what is out here is what's being photographed. Pristine fish populations. So you still jump in here and you see tunas, sharks, barracudas, trevallies. You see the abundance and the mass of fish. So this has become the jewel and the crown of the Queensland diving. The top adventure divers, in fact, aren't coming to really go see the Barrier Reef. In fact, the reputation of the Barrier Reef is going downhill over the last few years due to uh, crown of thorns and probably altification. And they're coming here for the really top diving of Osprey Reef and some of the other coral sea reefs. So if you consider that every live shark out here is worth a couple of hundred thousand dollars each year, Whereas if it was dead, maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars max, it makes perfect economic sense for the whole Queensland economy to keep these animals alive. Because Osprey Reef here is one of the last places in the world where you can simply hop in the water and be surrounded by sharks like these. The tourism industry itself uh, does not want to spend the money to go the farthest. They'd rather spend less money and go somewhere closer but they have to go this distance to give the quality of experience to these international divers. And so this is, by, uh, by business natural selection, been determined to be the best reef in the whole Bay Barrier Reef system. It's really critical that these reefs come into some management scheme so that there can be you know, a balanced, sustainable use of them. We can't afford to have a, an Indonesian fishing boat or an unlicensed, unsustainable fishery come in here and disturb this you know, multi-million dollar industry. And also, they give so much pleasure to so many people. WWF Australia believes the next few years are crucial to securing the sustainable future of the Coral Sea. WWF is calling on the Australian Government to declare the entire Coral Sea region a marine protected area that includes a comprehensive network of no-take marine reserves, making it the largest marine protected area in the world.